All right. We start on time here, no matter what. Even if the cast strength guys are still going, we start on time. Yeah. Yeah. Eight o'clock on the dot. I just like to drink, so yeah. I'll start doing that. I should probably I should probably get myself something. Hi everyone. How are you guys doing? You guys doing well? Flound off in the chat if you're doing well. Is it flound off? Flound off. Flounder off. Everyone send us some fish if you're doing well. Not pictures of fish. Send us actual fish. Actual fish. I want fish in the mail. I don't care how rotten they get by the time they get here. That's the name of the show. There you go. Yeah. Don't listen to what your local post office person has to tell you. Right. You you don't take no for an answer. You put that fish in the mail. That is your God-given right as an American. That's to, one of them. To amendments. mail fish. I'm pretty sure George Washington, that's, that's what he took up as an issue with the British. He came and he poked King George right in the chest. He said, listen, you can't stop us from shipping fish anymore, King George the, the fourth, the fifteenth, the the man. That's put actually, it, put it to you. There you go. That's actually what the Boston Tea Party was about. Yeah, yeah. No. They were they were actually angry about fish. The tea was they're, just a secondary issue. Poisoning the fish. Oh, with like the statement. tea. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Man, man. And then they mailed the poisoned dead fish, and it was. It was the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Man, and then Louis the Louis the Fourteenth got a whole bunch of dead fish on his doorstep. That bastard trying to take over our colonies. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at this American history. American history. Uh, all right, who's all in the chat? Uh, we've got Wheels, our wonderful friend Wheels. Hello. Uh, we've got Michael Isaac. Hello. He's from over at My Whiskey Den, and Andrew Spirell. A mainstay of this this wonderful channel. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, so before we get started on our Midwest bourbon night, we've got quite a few different bottles to talk about tonight. Some new ones. Yes. Some new ones we're gonna be taking the neck pores off of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, someone got excited going to the liquor store. I got so excited. Okay, I spent a little too much money. She was a little mad at me. But uh, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. We've got some good stuff. We here. will see. Yeah, um, Graham Thurston is in. What's everybody drinking? As always, we need to we need to hear about that. Hey, Ben Eves, good to see you in the chat. We haven't seen so much of you lately. We know you've been busy. Yeah, this is how I wave now. Hi, little gremlin hands. Gremlin hands. Uh, Greg T. Stag. I actually found out. I think his name actually is Greg, but his last name isn't Stag. So it actually <sighs> makes. But it makes for a very cute handle. Greg T. Stag, George T. Stag. Oh. Yeah. I just got that. You just got that? I yeah. sure did. <laughs> uh, Andrew Sproul's on the Buffalo Trace. That's fun. Nice. Patrick Cohn hopped in. Good to see you, buddy. Okay. A couple of things I want to get started on. Uh, I want to talk about before we get started on the bourbons. Real quick. Real quick. Mm -hmm. A couple of new releases I'm excited about. Oh, and a piece of news. The Glen Cairn glass just turned 20. Huzzah! Huzzah! Happy birthday to the Glen Cairn. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. It's almost old enough to have a drink out of I itself. Know. Well, it is in Europe. That's not a real place. <laughs> it's, it's a fantasy USA. land. USA! 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 Um... Floydian is saying, writer's tears after a very underwhelming Canadian rye. Really? Which Canadian rye was that? Um, Wheels has got some far north spirits. Hey, they're by us. Yeah. Um, okay, but real quick, new releases I'm excited about. One, Sagamore Spirit. They just released a rye finished in ale barrels. Neat. That's kind of fun. Um, I don't know too much else about it, except we're probably not going to see any of it. There's only 700 bottles out there. So, yeah, I'm sad about that. I would have loved to try this one, but, yeah. One maybe, hmm? maybe it'll be at a restaurant. Maybe. Or maybe it'll show up at Distill America next year or maybe. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. They do show up at Distill, so that could be good. Um, and then, also, uh, oh, hey, Dave K. Good to see you. Oh, Greg T. Stack, his initials are GTS, so there you go. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Bradathin the Cladathin is in. Um, okay, but check this out. 
new Irish whiskey coming to America. This well, has been over in Europe for a minute. Uh, this is Grace O'Malley. Okay. It's named after, she's she's maybe better known as Grania Wall, which okay. means Grace the Bald. She was, so she was a, she was the head of the O'Malley clan after her father died. Okay. Her father told her, you can't go on the boats because your hair will get wrapped up in the rigging. So she shaved her head bald. So she would, he would let her be a pirate. That's pretty neat. And basically she spent most of her life fighting the English and raiding ships and sacking fortresses. How much do you love that? I, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty badass. She features heavily in a, in an Irish rebel song that we won't sing here because this is a, this is a all Ireland show. Um, but the fun part is the fun part is at one point, because she kept making trouble, the English kidnapped her sons. Mm -hmm. And so she saw, uh, 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 sailed all the way to England, kidnapped the queen and locked her in a Mercedes trunk Benz. in the, uh, in the Mercedes car park, Benz. in the car park of Buckingham palace until she let her, her sons go. True Wait, story. Sorry, like an actual? No, oh, no, that definitely did not happen. I was going to ask, you, when, did this, <laughs> when did this story take place? I was like, is she a modern pirate? <laughs> <laughs> it was like 1995. Right. <laughs> she's, she's just like, give me my kids back, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. I've been trying to swear less on channel. I was wondering how many minutes I'd make it in to the show before I swore. Eight. Eight minutes, you guys. Yeah. And some of that was dead time. So. <laughs> you failed at accomplishing your goal. Oh, I know. I know. But yes, but Granny Wall, she actually did go and see Queen Elizabeth, or was it Queen Elizabeth? One of the queens, and refused to kneel because she, she didn't consider the Queen of Ireland. She's like, give me back my kids, you hoity toity motherfucker. So, Neat. there you go. Segment Elizabeth. Huh? Queen Elizabeth or the first no, no. Okay. I just think it was the first one because this was in like 1500. Uh, again, I just used <laughs> <laughs> Could you picture uh, the modern Queen Elizabeth kidnapping somebody's babies? Yes. <laughs> just in a little, so. that little like funny like weird top hat thing she wears, like the little church hat. Yeah. <clears throat> she would get all her dogs to surround a child and then be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Dozens of corgis just yeah. carry a child off on their backs. Yeah. And then she like throws them in a child's face, like this kid might be a king before you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm officially adapting this kid. I'm making him the Prince of Wales. Yeah, you know, you're, you're not impressive, Charles. Poor Charles, he's never gonna be king. You don't have to feel bad for him. No, I mean, I feel a little bad just because that old lich of a queen is gonna be like on his deathbed, like, ha <laughs> ha. Good, good. Oh, you should good. try harder at being an 80 year old intern. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, okay. Someone someone might have said Lot 40 was bad. That's that's a scary thing to say on this channel. I'll say it. Rye is bad, especially Lot 40 Rye. It's too rye. I said it. Yeah, well, we all know your opinions. Well, I side with whoever was bold enough to also say Lot 40 was I think bad. he was misinterpreted. I think he meant Old Overholt was bad in comparison to Lot 40. Uh, well, I stand by what I said. No. Well. Wow. Um, okay. So, now that we've gotten our ridiculous bullshit out of the way, why don't we talk about some bourbon? Sorry, ridiculous bullshit out of the way? Like, we won't do more of that? Look, I think we can take a break from the ridiculous bullshit okay, and then return clear. to the ridiculous bullshit in a minute. I wanted that to be clear. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What you got over there? Okay. So, my one, this is... Beer barrel bur bourbon. Say that three times fast. Beer barrel bourbon. Beer barrel bourbon. Beer barrel bourbon. Yeah. Um, it's not hard. Yeah, not that hard. But it's it's from New Holland Brewing. So they actually had took a chance on distilling some whiskey, and then they aged it. I mean, New Oak, blah blah blah. They finished it in their beer. I guess it's called Dragon's Milk. I don't really know what Dragon's Milk is. I assume it's some sort of barrel-aged stout or summit. Sounds yeah. likely. Yeah. So we've got this. They're out of Michigan. So if you didn't see the thumb, this is all about Midwest. This is a flyover episode. Cute. Yeah, yeah. You Coasties can eat a dick. <laughs> 
I ate the phrase Coasties so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, I um, hate when people make fun of the Midwest, but when people call people Coasties, I'm like, ugh, you deserve to be made fun of. <laughs> Oh man, we gotta we gotta stand up for Midwestern values. You, you live in a big city in the I Midwest, know. okay? I'm a I'm a farm boy at heart. I, I do love me some cows. Along with like every kindergartner. I've been I'm I'm not allowed to cross state lines because of my love of cows. It's a bad joke. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, but yes, this, this, you want to have a sip? Sure. Tell me what you think. I like, I actually like this quite a bit. I like the smell of it. Rock a bingo. Who had eat a dick occurring for 20 minutes? <laughs> what have we covered so far? Aggression based on regional location, the queen kidnapping babies. You fucking something. I fucked something, yeah. You apologizing for swearing so early. Yeah, this is a rock gut stream. Buckle in, folks. This is nice. It's not my favorite thing, but it's nice. I do like that. Hmm. It makes me wanna try, it just makes me really crave beer for us. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good like, relax in the back. Makes me feel like, yeah. what is that? What is that southern dance they do? The two step. That's not the one I'm looking for, but sure. Square dancing. No. Charleston. Definitely not. It's not it's, important. The Charleston. It's though? a southern dance named after Carolina. You legally have to do the Charleston to and from work every day if you live in Carolina. Ben Eves will tell you. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry if that's your life, Ben Eves. Yeah. I don't know why you got to disrespect Ben Eves like this. I apologize. <laughs> I only meant to disrespect him. <laughs> but yes, continue. No, I really like it too. Yeah. I, I was a little worried when I saw it was like 40%. Now, this is a single barrel, actually. Okay. I should point out it's a single barrel. So this may have some variation. This is, this is one I picked up at my liquor store. Um. Yeah, I don't know. There's a nice fruitiness to this I wasn't expecting. Yeah. And it's not the usual cherry cherry fruitiness. And I don't really associate stouts with being fruity. No. But this one, this is yeah. kind of peachy. It's peachy keen. Cute. And I, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it does. Ben and Eve says it's the shag. They do the shag all the way to work at home. Yeah, so now who's disrespecting Benny? I don't actually know what the shag is. Me neither. Yeah. Ben, you have to do the shag on your next stream. Come back next week when it's just an hour of Benny Eves doing the shag. Yeah. 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 That's, was, that's the good stuff. Um, Mr. Pete, yes, you are correct. Bourbon is can only be aged in uh, new barrels. But if you put on the label bourbon whiskey, finished in XYZ, it is no longer technically a bourbon whiskey. It is now a whiskey specialty with bourbon whiskey in the, in the name. Bourbon's confusing. Bourbon's confusing. The TTB, man. The TTB wanted to just let people have their cake and eat it too. So they were like, all right, you can put bourbon in the name, but you have to say it's finished in XYZ. Yeah. Uh, Richie is asking us if we've had Glyph. No, I haven't. I think that might be at the local liquor store, though. So maybe I'll buy that with our Patreon money for next month. Yeah. So donate. Donate if you want. If you want to see me drink some Glyph. What are you What are you drinking there? I'm drinking some, Is it pronounced? Blaum Brothers? Blaum. 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 Yeah. This one. Bros. Yeah. Blaum Brothers. Yeah. They're bourbon whiskey. It's good. I think I had this the first time at Distill America. Did you buy this when we were in Madison, or did you buy this on your recent no, haul? No, I bought this on the recent the recent trip to the liquor store. Yeah, but it's nice. It's pleasant. It's a... Uh... 
I'm really bad at words. You're like usually gotten, pretty good with tasting notes. I know. I feel like I've gotten worse since we've been home because I'm just like, I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> I've forgotten how all words work. Does anyone else feel like their vocabulary is shrinking now that you don't have social contact? I I'm, know mine is. I feel like that too. Yeah. I feel like it's hard for me to think words good. My 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 head organ, no no give mouth mouth sounds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Life hard. The word babies don't fall out of my mouth. I don't like saying word babies. Too bad. So she fall out of your mouth. You eat the word babies with your ears and you puke them out of your mouth. Well, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm drinking some Blow Brothers. I had this for the first time at Distill America. And it's nice. It's just a pleasant, it's grainy, corny, but it's not. Young. Yeah, not young, not overly sweet. It's just nice. Let me get in on that. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is a far cry from this one here. Oh, yeah, they're real different. Let me sniff them right after each other. There you are. I feel like the sweetness is more implied after smelling yeah. yours. But that I mean that makes sense. Like, that's aged in a stout barrel, so. Honestly, this isn't bad. Yeah. But coming off the beer barrel bourbon, mm -hmm. that tastes yui. That tastes really green. Like not not painfully green, not like awful, awful green. That's a little green though. I mean, um feel the need to defend some blonde brothers now. Okay, I mean opinions are different, but it tastes it tastes like that uncooked noodle mixed with uh, pine branch. Uncooked noodles? Uncooked noodles mixed with pine branches is always what I think of when it's a young bourbon. I liked that on its own. I remember yeah. thinking that was good. And then I had the beer barrel, and now that one tastes funny. I think it's coming think. right after. It's like it's not a young thing, but it's that because I think they're at such different flavor spectrums that like coming off of one, it just tastes a little funny. It's the combined taste, I would say. I will come back to that one at the yeah. end of the night. Did you? We don't have water. It's not important. Oh, I should get some water probably. Nope, too late. We're All sitting right. down. That's fair. Drink your spit. Uh, Andrew Page is saying weird bourbon laws are good for Scotland. Does anyone know what percent of all used bur bourbon barrels they get? I don't know. A hundred. It's definitely not a hundred. A hundred and five. Considering that a lot of the craft breweries pick them up, the a lot of them go down to the Caribbean for aging rum. A hundred and seven. A lot of them go to Ireland. Two. I mean, not as many first fill go to Ireland as. Scotland, but two? Two. Two percent or two barrels? Two barrels. All the Scottish people have to share two barrels. Yes. Two bourbon barrels. Scotland's not that big. I mean, I guess. They're going to use the fuck out of those two barrels. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> but what's the actual statistic? I don't know. I'm just yelling numbers. Someone might be able to help us with that. Um, Floyd is saying the Canucks are floundering on obtaining mass and now the Midwesterners. A little bit. This aren't, these aren't too unobtainable. Yeah. I think Blum Brothers has decent distribution. And New Holland is, is coming up in the world, actually. Yeah. They're not doing too bad. I am super impressed with this this beer barrel, single barrel, though. What? That does seem right up your alley. Right? Yeah. Like, the this was some nicely fruity, a little bit stouty. Um, it wasn't didn't taste like a really young craft whiskey, which I liked. Some of these craft whiskeys tend to run really, really young. So, hey, Trev Wilson, everyone, we have a moderator in the chat. Now we have to be quiet. Everyone behave themselves. Everyone behave themselves. No more talking about mouth babies. Who talked about mouth babies? No you one did. ever said that. You did. No. You said the word babies come out your mouth. I would never. I would never say something so grotesque. What's great is that if anybody uh, rewatches this, they can just rewind. Like, Five minutes. Nope. And prove you as a liar. <laughs> oh, are you breaking up the, the Rieger? Yes. Okay. So what's fun about this one is we were debating is Missouri a Midwest state? Right. Yes. I think the decision we came to on that was that it is in the Midwest, but anything south of St. Louis is basically the south. Yeah. And I feel like Missourians also agree with that. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So... But this one, yes, this is based out of Kansas City, which is a more northern right. Missouri state. Yeah. 
you know the Milwaukee mob was was big in with the Kansas City mob. I'm when? not surprised. Yeah, yeah, they the balustrades were uh, skimming skimming casinos, and the Kansas City people were the uh, drop off point for the payments. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Balustraries. We all know you're mobsters. Stop. <laughs> if you're going to do this bullshit, don't drag me. <laughs> Everyone knows. Yeah, but like, just so everybody know, like, everybody knew who mobsters were in like the 20s. It didn't stop you from like getting run over. Yeah. Because like, we know. It's just like, shut the fuck up. There's a about Wikipedia about page about it nowadays. Yeah. That lists who's in it. <laughs> and everyone who's edited it. Probably dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Oklahoma is Oklahoma Southern state. No, that's like that's like mountain state. They have southern tendencies though. Like they have that like country. It's one of those weird, exactly along the middle divide ones. Yeah, that's true. It is surprising how far north the South has gotten. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard people call Wisconsin the uh, southern state of the north? Really? Yeah. Why? Because all our guns and our strokes and our overweightness. I think it does have a lot to do with like our just tendencies. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're also part of the chimp belt. Yes. Yeah. We're, yeah. We are one of the, the states with the highest number of chimp and monkey attacks. It's in, weird that that is a states. statistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Vito. We love you. Hola. Uh, Kansas, Missouri, 1950s pre-Civil War debates. Well, that's Kentucky, too. Kentucky was a slave state that never fought for the Confederacy. So, go figure. Yeah. Yeah. Good old Kentucky. Delightful. Yeah. What do you think of this, uh, Rieger? Eh. Eh. Yeah. I like this one. This one smells good to me. Okay. This is not technically That's, a bourbon. Okay. What did um, it call itself? A Kansas it's, City it's whiskey. whiskey. All right. So the, with this one, it's actually, this one was done by, um, who was it done by? Oh, my God. Why can't I think of that very famous person who does all the whiskey? He did Woodenville. He did Whistle Pig, I'm pretty sure. Why can't I? Guys, help me out. Help me out. No, don't help him. Let him suffer. Oh my god, I'm having a I'm having a senior moment here, you guys. Dave Pickerell, thank you. Gosh don't darn. That was a that was a sad moment for the Rock Cut Review. Sad moment for you. Sad moment for me. Yeah, yeah. I did nothing to help. Yeah. But yeah, there's something the nose is really rubbing alcohol y to me. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't get that at all. No, I think that nose, that nose smells like, like, I don't know, like a roux, like burned flour and spices, little red pepper. I get red pepper, especially like on the palate. I don't know. It just kind of tastes like nuts, rubbing alcohol and cooking spices. It is very nutty. Yeah. That's true. Which makes sense. It's, it's a mix of bourbon, rye, and Oloroso sherry. Probably that rye sneaking in. Probably that rye, yeah. You really hate yeah, rye. Yeah, you got rye and Oloroso sherry, so you're getting a lot of your boxes checked. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just kick this back. I do love when I get my boxes checked. Ah, you're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't made a roux unless you've burned a roux before? Yeah, yeah, that's true. True. I really dig this one. I think they've, they've made something pretty special here. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think it's 15 year old Oloroso sherry. Oh, it's dry sack too. What's I love mean? dry sack. It's a particular brand of sherry. Oh. Yeah. So it makes a little. Wow, we are getting a lot of glare. I'm going to turn down the lights real quick, guys. We're going to get sensual. The rack up. Yeah. It's going to go black for a second. Okay. There we are. Okay. Slightly less glare, I hope. Eh. It'll do. It'll do for now. This is also just a white label. Yeah, we'll work on it later. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, nuts on Ed's nose. Yeah. Yeah. The nose really is the penis of the face. What is that from? I have heard that joke. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I thought I came up with it. You're not that clever. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, I think however much Oloroso Rosso they put in mm -hmm. was the perfect amount for me. For me. But, yeah. I think this is this is rocking. This does seem a right up your alley beverage. Yeah. Yeah. Dry and. It's very dry. It's very dry. Not sweet. There is a little bit of pepper from that. There's a vegetal pepperiness from that rye on the taste. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep that over there. Okay. Do you want me to trade you for something? Yeah. Give me okay. the Traverse City one. You got it. Traverse City. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to do it. Nice. What is this? Oh, it's barrel proof. Ooh. Let me get into that. Yeah, so this is some gaseous leakage there. Right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys got to hear that. It was very quiet, but yeah, very suction leak. Yeah. Um, the nose is the most sensual part of the face. What was that Steve Martin movie where the guy's got a really, like a gigantic schnoz? And the joke is like, finally, a man who can satisfy two women at once. I don't know. <laughs> that is a uh... Roxanne. Well, I have learned a new thing today. Man, our chat is brilliant. Yeah. Have I told you guys how brilliant you are? Everyone who's watching this video right now is incredibly intelligent. Y'all are overcompensating for us being idiots. Just me. Just me. You're pretty smart. Mm, I struggled with some words there earlier. <laughs> Oh, I didn't say hi to Emily Chambers. I'm sorry. Hi, Emily. Good to see you. I know you weren't getting the uh, notifications for a minute, so I'm glad you made it in. Thank you for everyone who tuned in. Yeah. We love you all. Um, Ooh, I like this one. Oh, I forgot to be reading off the stats. My very professional stats I wrote down on this receipt. Um, the one you're drinking right now, Travers, that's yes. four, I believe that's four years old, 71% corn, 25% rye, four barley. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of it? It's nice. So I'm really focused on your writing. What's up? What's I don't up know. Writing? My, my, my writing's fine. Can you guys see that? That is all white. Look at my writing. My writing's beautiful. I have the penmanship of a Shakespearean author. Okay, my hand is not that great. <laughs> or at least so. like of a drunken Hemingway-esque author. There you go. See, that, that seems more on brand. Like it looks like you just did like broad strokes. You're like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> and that was to write like cat. <laughs> <laughs> I do love kids. Yeah, but I like this one. It's very nutty. Is it? Into. Yeah. You want to get a sip? Yeah, I do. Let's check this out. Oh, that is. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's nuts and dark fruit. I don't remember what. It's it's very like a charcuterie board. It smells like dark chocolate with nuts in it. There you go. Or like uh, not cashews, not almonds. Um, oh, oh, uh, said not almonds. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Here. Walnuts, pecans. Walnut, no pecans. Maybe a little walnut there too. Yeah, but, but like yeah. roasted pecans. Yeah. Dark chocolate. Roasted. Roasted pecans mixed in with dark chocolate. Yeah, this might be my favorite one so far. I'm loving it. I'm there's still up. there's there's so, still some of that nuttiness. Yeah. On the finish there, but a lot of that opening is that dark fruit and some sweet caramel stuff. I don't know if I'm necessarily getting caramel, but I get I get a little bit. It's a little sweeter on the front, yeah. and then it shifts into the the nuttiness yeah i like, maybe get like crackers really yeah huh but i think that's just that like my brain is thinking pure charcuterie boards so i'm like yeah crackers nuts fruits and etc <laughs> floyd says ed scrawl soon to be worthless man i'm worthless come on <laughs> yeah yeah um, Emily Chambers is saying uh, she can take any rye you don't like off your hands. He's already. I don't. I haven't found a rye I really hate. The only one that came close. There's one. There's one that I didn't think was amazing. Oh, here it is. Defiant. Defiant rye it comes in this wee little little bottle here. 
yeah this one this one oh this in 80 laws uh i think it's called triticale or something what they, does that mean i think it just means rye oh yeah i think it's just a scientific name for rye these two come off like drinking a heap of dying vegetable matter delightful yeah what about doesn't canadian hunter have a rye yeah, but that one doesn't even taste like anything. It doesn't taste like much at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, hey, Jermaine Compton, the first. He was our very first patron. Thank you. Yeah, he's yeah. good people. Yeah. We like him. Um, yeah, this Traverse City, I like them a lot. They're kind of like the Door County of Michigan. They're way into cherries. That is such a Wisconsin thing yeah. to say. Door County. Door County is this little kitschy, like, tourist trap we have up north where, like, everybody. It, not everybody. Not every, White people. Yeah. White people go to vacation. Yeah. 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 Um, but, yeah, this is this is kind of like them because Door County makes a lot of cherry stuff. They also have a distillery up there, which we don't have any of stuff in house, so we might need to go get some of that. When outside opens eventually. When outside opens. Yeah. Um, um, I feel like Traverse City is a bigger deal than Door County. Um, no, everything's bigger in Wisconsin. That's our that's our state motto. Including our waistline. Yeah. Because of all the cheese. Um, I'm gonna eat some cheese after this. Yeah. Yeah, we love cheese. We do. I love do. Frying it. Yeah. We love and we love our pork products. You don't love them so much, it gives you a tummy ache. Yeah. Everyone else eats a lot of pork. Yeah. A lot of pork. Sausage. A lot of sausage. A lot of sausage. Oh, yeah. I want a brat. Um, yeah. Our tourist traps are very, it's very much the Dells and Door County. Yeah. Yeah. The Dells is the Dells is much more campy. The like, Dells is good for family. Yeah. And then like the Door County is for the hipster ass people who want to like experience nature. And like old timey, old timey shit. And cherries, but and don't want to go to Madison. Right. Yeah. Right. And Madison's like a hippie, hippie zone. It's the world where you can, you can exchange a love song for a bag of weed. Has that happened to you? I'm not saying it hasn't. That's exactly. <laughs> uh. Mr. Pizza's Wisconsin's one giant tourist trap. No, no, it most of it is just depressing Pecker Woods getting drunk and slowly dying of heart failure. So that's Wisconsin. Speaking of which, I'm gonna drink some Wisconsin stuff. Okay. Fun Wisconsin fact. Uh well actually I think this is more Milwaukee based. Don't we have per like square miles, there's more bars than there are grocery stores? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Milwaukee's got its own goddamn problems. <laughs> We love the binge drinking. We love eat it, Chicago. I don't know who won this year, but yeah, yeah. We eat a lot. We have a, we have more shootings than any than anywhere nearby except for Chicago. So yeah, yeah. Guns, guns, and fatty foods. That's that's Milwaukee for you. And that's why Wisconsin is the southern state of the north. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Very much so. Yeah, we're like Atlanta. If Atlanta didn't have anything good for it in it. <laughs> yeah, at least Atlanta has stuff. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do some Driftless Glen, straight bourbon, single barrel. God, we're getting so much glare. I'm going to work on these lights, you guys. I'm sorry. Be less pale. I know. it's That's the problem. If if we don't light this up enough, we're so, we have such a big contrast. I'm so pale. We get all the glare, but if we don't light it, it looks bad. So, yeah. 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 We'll just. I like hide. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then and then turn off the lights. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Driftless Gladden is an old favorite. Have you had this one? Yeah. Oh, you have. Because didn't you use that bourbon? No. I don't think I've you've had, had this one. one. This is the race pick. Okay. Then yeah. I will have some of that. But didn't I've had a different triplet skin bourbon? Because didn't you use that in the big old uh, old fashioned debate? No, that was that was their regular bourbon. Oh. This is this is a new single barrel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, ben Eves did bring up our recent turtle derby video. 
Turtle Derby was fun. Turtle Derby was so much fun. He wants me to bring up the viewership numbers, which I'm not going to do because I don't brag, except that we had over 2,000 people in the chat. That's just state fact. Yeah, that's, that's, not, not that's not bragging. Yeah. That's not bragging. That's just telling it like it is. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We jumped up like 60 subscribers in a day, which is our biggest pop ever. It was nice. Yeah. We were famous. We were like Icarus. We briefly touched the sun. So now watch as we crash and fail. Oh, absolutely. Much like Icarus. Yeah. Um, Benny says, I want to give us Outcast and Goody Mob. I don't know Goody Mob. That's fair. Yeah. But yeah, no, Outcast is great. Outcast is great. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, Atlanta's got, Atlanta's got a, a heaping helping of black Southern culture. Yeah. Yeah. They're like the epicenter of Southern blackness. Fun facts from a white guy. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The one thing I do absolutely hate about Atlanta is the traffic. I don't know if anybody in the chat is from Atlanta, and I don't know if you want to try to convince me that driving there is somewhat better, but you will not. Last time I was there, some kids wore like skull masks and came down off like a random hill onto the freeway on dirt bikes. And I was like, this is the purge. The purge is happening. This is where we die. <laughs> And there was oh. a cop, like two cars behind us, and they just did nothing. So I was like, "Is this just a thing that happened?" That's the that's the annual skull face dirt bike race, or the daily. I don't All know right. how often they do it. Prove, yeah, okay, there we go. Ben Eves agrees. Atlanta traffic is the devil. That's all I needed. I've never actually been to Atlanta. Everything I say about Atlanta is some stuff I know secondhand from you. We should go to Atlanta. Yeah, I probably like it. I do yeah. love southern food. I do have an uncle who lives outside of Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Until recently, I definitely thought Atlanta was in Alabama. So there's they're showing how much I know about it. Are you joking? I was a little convinced. They both have A's. They got A's in their names. Like until when? I don't know. Not too recently. But like how recently? I don't know. But you're so smart. <laughs> Am I though? Am I? I don't think I am. Okay. Yeah. Um, they want your they want your signature in the chat, Erica. They want you to to sign some stuff. I don't think that's how they. No, this that's is how. Works. That's what my signature looks like. I didn't think it was in Alabama. I just kind of maybe assumed. I get Georgia confused with stuff. How much stuff? I don't know. There's that other one in Eastern Europe. Maybe it was that one. Maybe it's Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> Eastern Europe. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, David Earls is in from Ireland. Gee, which? Going to start, too. What does that mean? How you doing? I feel like I've heard you say that before. I'm just going to constantly ask. I will forget every time. Uh. Yeah. Oh, wait. It is really early over there, isn't it? It's got to be. What time is it in Ireland? Two-ish? 1.30 or 2. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I, mean, I would be asleep. I suppose you guys probably are under lockdown, too. Although, Ireland did not get it as bad as we did, big time. Mm -hmm. the, their, the Taoiseach over there, Varadkar, actually didn't do a half bad job. So, lucky you guys. Must be nice to have a great administration. Not that, not that we're political or anything. Yeah. Two forty in the morning. Thank you, David. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, also, the Irish Civil War is finally over, so that's cool. Neat. Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil are finally coming together to form a unity government. So, those are the two that fought the Civil War, and they're finally reconciling. So what? It only took them eighty years. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. You know, time is a construct. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 80 years is one man's one night on top of a turtle shell in space. Yeah. Yeah. Some disc world shit right there. Yeah. 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 You want some, you want some Driffles Clan? You want to try this single barrel right quick? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Donald Rance. You're just talking about your neck of the woods, buddy. Yeah. 
about Georgia, which is totally yeah, it's not Georgia. <laughs> okay, no, I was talking about Ireland. Okay. <laughs> Georgia, Ireland isn't Georgia everywhere, according to you? All uh, right. Um, Ooh, it's pretty good. This is also nutty, but like it's different. That's more like almonds. I would agree with that. I also think this one comes off much drier. To my mind here, but let me let me do a little Traverse City Triple Spine comparison real quick. All right. This I don't know if it's because I've been eating a lot of those nut thins recently. I don't know if anybody in the chat knows what those are, but they're like the crackers that are made out of nuts. But yeah, this tastes a lot like those, the almond ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will say this one. I mean, it's it's stronger too. I mean, it's a heavier proof. Yeah. To be fair. Which... Travers. What is the proof on it? 57.1. 57.1. That's a poke. This is 50. 48. Sorry. Okay. It's not too much more. But, but I mean, almost 10% difference. That's a poke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the Driftless Glen comes off much drier. Yes. This one has a lot more corn sweetness for me. I really think. Here, you want to okay. have a go at that? Sure. Um, before I even taste it, I feel like this one has more complex flavor profiles. Like I just get pure almonds on this, versus mm. I get like I get sweetness on here, but it's a dry sweetness. So I, this one tastes drier to me than this. Okay, I disagree. I think this one is floral sweetness, but lacking that really sugary, sugary burnt nuttiness. Okay. Like this is like caramelized nuttiness. This is like a daffodil mashed up in a mix of trail mix. I could see that. Yeah. Okay. I will agree with you on that. Yeah. Down Rance just had a Patreon live. I don't. I didn't know you had a Patreon. I'm gonna go throw money at you. What's your Patreon called? Throw, it. throw that shit in the chat. Yeah. Mike Lizak is saying I'm the devil. Apparently. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. I feed on the souls of the young to keep me alive. It's me. It's my soul because I'm younger. It only takes, but I, I only live for like five minutes, so I go through like a batch of orphans a day. That's so sad. Whatever they're orphans, ain't nobody gonna miss them. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> what are they gonna do? Call their <laughs> parents? <laughs> I'm so drunk and sad. <laughs> oh god, okay, that might have been too far even for me. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too late. I'm sad. Oh, uh, yeah. This is how I live now. Sorry, everyone. That was a little grim. Reptilian. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Is that why we don't hear the children scream on the uh, playground anymore? Right. Yeah. Just it wasn't the souls. it wasn't the quarantine. I just was out there with a big net. <laughs> Let me eat your soul. <laughs> I put up wards of binding on the playset, and they were trash, <laughs> and their souls were ripped from their bodies. It's a dark magic dream catcher. It re yeah, yeah, it really is. We lost like three people right there. Yeah, that's fair. Those are the respectable. Those are, people. those are the people who actually are yeah decent. Thanks human for beings. slumming it with us, the rest of you. Stay sleazy. Yeah. Take it sleazy, as I like to say. Yeah. Who watched The Good Place? Me. Anybody in the chat? It's, it's good stuff. Yeah, if you didn't watch it, it's ended now, but. You can find it on some streaming. Netflix, sure. Hulu. Yeah. This is actually, interestingly, the nose on this is a lot spicier. This one has a lot more prickly, peppery spice. The Traverse City. The Traverse City has some more kick to it, which I like. I feel like the spice is like a sweet spice, though. Like, oh, it's it like is. Cinnamon. It is. Plus, like, peppers. No, for sure. This It okay. is. I, I would agree with that. I think this is more peaches and allspice kind of thing, as opposed to this one, where it's floral and, like, pepper. Like, pure black yeah. pepper. I feel like 
going to be a stretched metaphor. This is like basic cooking things, and this, this is like all the stuff put together. Like this is kind of like a, like I said, almonds before, maybe a little salt, maybe a little pepper. This is like, we got a bunch of stuff to, we like heat up some pecans and some butter and we threw in some cinnamon. Mm, yeah. I don't cook. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Um, Brad is saying he loved, oh, the explanation of time. The Jeremy Baramy. We've been on for like a 64th of a Baramy. I don't know how long a Baramy is. Is we're there, in the dot. We're in the dot. You don't want to be in the dot. <laughs> that's that's why you don't want to be in the dot. You're just stuck with us. It's just me like slapping you in the face like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this is the bad place. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We got one more. Okay. It's one we've done before, but I wanted to compare it to the others. This one. So this is actually distilled in Wisconsin. Neat. But it is bottled. I think it's actually aged in Minnesota, too. It's definitely bottled in Minnesota. I think it's aged in Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota's fine. They gave us Steve A. <laughs> They're Not boo to Steve A, but boo to Minnesota. Uh, um, what was I going to say? Uh, really, they're, know, be they're better than Illinois. I mean, that's a low bar. Yeah, but, like, okay, if we had to rank... Like our Midwest, the rivals. Midwest states. Okay. It goes Illinois way, way at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Then Michigan, Minnesota. No, no, I'll take it back. I put Michigan Min above Minnesota, Minnesota. Then Michigan. There we go. And then like mm, Indiana. No, Ohio's okay. next. Ohio's next. Then Indiana. Okay. This is gonna be garbage. But I base most of my like Midwest rivalries off of like who's in the NFC North for football. Yeah. So that really only leaves us, Minnesota, Illinois, Michigan. I don't even think about Ohio and Indiana. What about Ohio State though for college football? I don't give a fuck about college football. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mostly yeah. followed hockey in college anyway. Which at the time we were playing, we weren't even playing in the Big Ten. We were playing like the Midgey, the Midgey the in uh, the Midgey. I don't think they're in Minnesota. Oh. They're big hockey school. Yeah. Okay. Them in Sioux. I think there's like North Sioux University. I don't know what that is either. Yeah. We had some great chants. Hey, you guys want to hear a chant? No, don't. Oh, come on. We're 50 minutes in. All right. You're going to do that anal one, aren't it's you? It's the anal one. Yeah. So you chant, give me an A. Give me an N. Give me an A. Give me an L. What does that spell? Anal. What does that mean? Come from behind. Come from behind. <laughs> That's the chant they would sing when they were losing. Yeah, when you're losing. Yeah. College students are the worst. <laughs> At least high school students, it's like I don't have to ever really be around them, but college students think they're real people, so. Yeah, that's true. And also they have access to booze. Ugh. I mean, so do high schoolers. Yeah, that's tempered somewhat, at least. You don't see freshmen running around quite as much as you do freshman college students. Fair. Yeah. yeah, they keep it inside. Or they go to high school dances with it. Oh man, my uh my high school dance. They uh we had it at the Milwaukee Public Museum. Bunch of kids smuggled in alcohol, as you do. Classic. Is this um, prom? This was it wasn't prom, it was one of the bigger ones though. Prom is Homecoming. Like the biggest one. No, it was one of the bigger, not the okay. big guests. Okay. Um but yeah, but a bunch of people had like shampoo bottles filled with liquor because like, apparently college or high school kids can't afford flasks. You where are you gonna buy a flask? I guess yeah, but um, yeah, but uh, then they we got banned because we wrecked the jungle exhibit. <laughs> bunch of kids were fucking back there. Children are nightmares. Uh, yeah. Shout out to you guys who have teenagers. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. The worst part is like if you have a teenager and then a wee baby at the same time. I have one of my coworkers. No, two of my coworkers had that exact situation. And mm. Yeah. The baby had butted the teenager, so. Oh, I told that story on here. Okay, perfect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no baby just. <laughs> uh, Richie Z. If it hurts, you're doing it wrong. 
Wait, what hurts? Just read the comment. Where's the comment? I don't know how to read. I don't know how to read. <laughs> adult children and a teenager at your house is the worst oh i could imagine yeah. that would be bad too so many people who think they're real people yeah this is it's nice yeah it's nice um i don't think it's quite i think i don't like it that much coming off of the traverse city and you did tell me not to have like the barrel proof stuff yeah first. that's the problem but i didn't care and i wanted to have the barrel proof i know stuff. But you drink the barrel proof stuff and this the the sweeter elements of this kind of get eaten up yeah you don't really taste them yeah i do taste a little bit of that extra heavy char mm -hmm. a little extra woodiness it's a little more tannic which i dig um but yeah we did this in the wrong order yeah oh well i don't feel bad you know, i'm drunk already how are you drunk already we've been drinking I'm tiny pours i'm five foot three <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even five foot three <laughs> five foot two and a half you need to drink like half as much as i drink on these streams that's not gonna work for me <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna that's not gonna happen i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i don't like to be told what to do <laughs> ever tell you about the time i ran away from my friend group in a city i had never been to to chase a cat that sounds like you yeah it does you it? get really really desperate for cat petting when you're drunk not just that, but like somebody was like, don't chase that cat. So I was like, obviously, that's what I got to do. <laughs> but, you know, then I found a taco truck. So it worked out for me. There you go. And I got to pet the cat. Oh, wow. Happy accidents. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was very intent on finding that cat. I meant the taco truck. Okay, yeah. But, yeah. All right, let me get a little bit of that Blonde Bros before we finish up. Because I want to see if I'm coming off the not beer barrel, how does that how does that play? Does it stand up better? Yes. Do you have the taste of the Traverse City out of your mouth? Shit. That was the one I just drank. Okay. Give me give me some of that. All right. What's like the thinnest thing we've had tonight? Maybe have that that's the closest to water. I don't know. They're all different. I feel like that is right now, but yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Also, I see Vito's comment, We People United. I do like the idea of calling it Weepoo. Weepoo? <laughs> You don't get to laugh at us. <laughs> that, that's our word. <laughs> we're we and we're here. Oh, do you want to come on after dark with me tonight? Uh, for a little bit, maybe. Okay. Okay. I'm drunk. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay. I'm gonna eat. We'll come on for like 15 minutes. We'll yeah. come on for like 15 minutes, and then we'll we'll call it a night. All right. Yeah. Oh no, it's not coming. It's not just coming up. I don't know, sweetie. I really get, it's, I really get a big piney Yui note off of this. I feel like you have to review this because I just get grain. But you know what? Different flavor palettes. No, no, people, people smell and taste things differently for sure. But maybe we'll have to do just like a review on this one separately, not a stream, not right. drinking anything else. Yes. We'll see what we get. I agree. I agree. We should do. We hold. We withhold the right. We reserve the right, that's the word, reserve the right to do individual reviews on all of these, yes. for sure. For sure. We're definitely going to do Blaum. I think we should probably do Rieger's. I would want to do the Traverse City. Yeah, let's do the Traverse City. That'll probably come I mean, next week. I mean, why not just do all of them? We'll do all of them. We'll do yeah. videos on all of them. Yeah. Why not? Uh, Open your ear holes and listen. Let me puke my mouth babies into your ears. See, there it is again, the mouth babies. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I never said that. I won't be gaslit here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm. Oh, speaking of things that I'm excited to review, where we got a couple coming up next week. Let's do a little preview. For anyone who's not on the Facebook chat when we did our preview, we got a couple exciting ones. Yeah, like us on Facebook. I'm, I'm excited because I finally got some Booker's Granny Batch. And I'm I'm a big lover of grannies. Um, and then next Tuesday, we've got a Mortlock Wee Witchy. Which I don't know where I put. Oh, it's over there. Hold that. Hold that little box up. You can't reach it. You have your wee arms. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. wee arms did it. Yay. Because I am tiny but mighty. Yeah, she a big small. Yeah. But yeah, we got some wee witchy coming up. It's this. Yeah. You know I you guys know I love Mortlock. Oh. Uh, 
going to rest here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so those are coming up next week. So make sure to check those out. Um, and real quick, what is ever for people who are watching this after the fact, we need to leave a comment. We need to leave a question for them because then they'll leave comments. Okay. And then the YouTube algorithm will be like, hey, we should post that more because people are interacting with it, right? YouTube will be like, rad. Yeah. And then it'll do a holly. Yeah. yeah. They got attitude that those YouTube. Yeah. They're not definitely not just a bunch of slugs in suits who are slowly siphoning off the money and energy of all the creators on this platform. Nah, they're rad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we should ask the people like, what's your favorite Midwest bourbon? And if you haven't had a Midwest bourbon, what's your favorite craft bourbon? What states do you consider part of the Midwest? Well, yeah, oh, yeah, that's another good question. Is Missouri part of the Midwest? And why does Jason Bateman always hang around there? That's an Ozark reference. Yeah. I don't know fuck about shit. No, I don't know shit about fuck. There you go. That's also an re Ozark reference. Get some, skinny bitch. Also an Ozark <laughs> reference. What's great is he hasn't watched all of Ozark. I watched Ozark, and he just came in on certain episodes. I watched enough to get the good lines. Ruth has all the good lines. That's all I need. That's fair. I just need quotable lines. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. So I think we're going to call it a night. We will be popping over to Cast Strength After Dark for at least a minute. Yeah. We're probably going to be going to bed soon because we're old people. I am at least. I'm young, but I have work tomorrow. Forever young. Let's get a copyright strike. All right. And, um, Everyone, thank you for coming in. Right. We love you very much. You. We appreciate all the time you take out of your busy days to hang out with us. And until next time, make sure we've got our chicken cock, as we do. Everybody come put some chicken cock in your mouths. Why do I do these? Why do I do this with you? Because you love me and you hate yourself. Yeah, stay rotten. Stay rotten.